hello and welcome back to the channel guys warm good morning to all of you so today's topic we are going to discuss about the main component of the earth system and this topic is important from our rate examination point of view as well as any other competitive examination point of view this kind of questions are asked from this topic so this topic is an important topic so you need to pay attention to it all right so let's begin with our day with this topic called the main components of the earth system so the earth system is itself an integrated system but it can be subdivided into the four main components all right how many main components are there of it there are four main components okay now this uh, subsystems or the spheres okay it can be also called as the geosphere atmosphere hydrosphere and biosphere okay these components are also systems in their own right and they are tightly interconnected so when we talk about all this for atmosphere hydrosphere biosphere and geosphere okay so these are what these are tightly connected with each other all right they are interconnected and each has the four different spheres or domains that are affected by the climate okay uh, and they are also known as called your atmosphere hydrosphere lithosphere and biosphere okay so these are the main four component of it is it clear till here okay further we have the atmosphere surrounds the earth in layers the lower atmosphere at the ground level troposphere that is around 20 km from the earth okay like if supposing this is your earth so when we go around 20 km so from here it is your troposphere and stratosphere from 40 km okay the stratosphere from 40 km and ionosphere is that is of your 60 km okay outer space with no atmosphere okay further it says that all life on the earth depends on the atmosphere for protection of direct radiation okay and what is the utility what is the use of this layer so the most important use of this layer is is protection of direct radiation from the sun for supplying of water and for providing plants with the things they need to grow so this is why we need the different layers of uh, atmosphere now the gases in the atmosphere participate in cycles okay one of the most important is a carbon cycle okay since all of uh, the organism on the earth are carbon based life forms okay that is why your carbon cycle is one of the most important one Okay, now here we will talk uh, about this layers one by one so first we have hydrosphere so what this hydrosphere includes it includes all water on the surface of the earth like ocean lakes rivers aquifers and your ice okay so as you know the word hydro hydro itself means water okay so everything which contains and have the water and the earth surface is known as called as hydrosphere and 70% of the earth surface is covered with water this is a very big uh, percentage right around 70% but guys you need to remember that 70% is covered with water but this is not potable or drinkable water okay uh, drinkable water is very very limited right even if you will go to the some of the coastal areas of india you think that it's a big ocean okay but that water you cannot drink it because of the salinity in it all right so drinking water is very very limited for all of us next we have lithosphere so lithosphere it covers the remaining 30% of it it is between 0 to 40 km thickness of lithosphere it consists of igneous metamorphic sedimentary rock that can be transformed to the rock cycle the mountains are formed and then continually broken down by the forces of erosion okay such as wind ice flowing water plant roots temperature okay so these all are the factors okay that continually break down this structure of the earth on uh, structure of the rocks okay the process of uh, erosion are balanced with the process of the mountain building folding faulting volcanism on the earth surface and the ocean floors this process are explained by the theory of plate tectonics okay so i will discuss about this plate tectonics in the later part of the video okay the next of uh, the another layer we have that is called your biosphere of atmosphere okay so well, let's see what it says about the biosphere where all life exists and include the other three spheres the lower layer of the atmosphere a few meters of the lithosphere and all of the hydrosphere amount of diversity of biomass depends on distance 
ओके पैरामीटर डिपेंड्स ऑन व्हाट ऑन द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द इक्वेटर जनरली द क्लोजर टू द इक्वेटर द ग्रेटर द बायोडायवर्सिटी मींस मोर क्लोज यू गो टू द इक्वेटर द बायोडायवर्सिटी विल बी मोर ओके दीज प्लांट्स आर रिजर्वियर्स ऑफ कार्बन either in the solid or dissolved form or as carbohydrates okay that is sugar uh, cellulose proteins and oils okay now further we have the plate tectonics the theory of plate tectonic addresses many questions about earthquakes volcanoes mountain building and the opening and closing of ocean basins okay so this all is included under what this all is included under the plate tectonic theory let's see further okay so six major plates okay there are six major plates and some smaller ones from the earth crust and hold this uh, continent these plates are constantly shifting okay resulting in the collision separation due to the convection currents and uh, in the mantle okay mantle is the inner part of the mantel convection like boiling water in a pot happens within the upper mantle bring uh, bringing molten rock up from the atmosphere to the lithosphere and causing the plates to separate it begins to cool as it pushed out of the way by the rising of the new molten materials as it cools further it is drawn back down to the mantle causing the plates to collide it reheats and moves back replacing the rock that has started to cool and move out of the way okay so further what it says it says the volcanoes and the earthquake occur when one plate overrides the other causing the heavier plate to sink below the below okay the ocean floor into the mantle there it becomes the molten rock and rises to the surface of the ocean floor and begins to build a volcano which eventually will rise above sea level all right so in this video guys we have in a very short and a brief we have covered the important components of the earth all right guys so which is important from my exam point of view thank you very much for watching and wishing you a nice day ahead bye bye